Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Scott, and today I'm going to be painting one of the Adeptus Custodes Shield Captains in Terminator armor. So let's go ahead and dive into how I did it. To prepare this model for painting, I base coated it using Retributor Armor Spray Primer from Citadel. The first thing I'm going to do with this model is shade the entire thing using Seraphim Sepia. This is going to give it a somewhat browner tint than it had before. Once that shade is dried, we're going to go through using Gehenna's Gold, we're going to dry brush this over all the gold armor panels. Now this is going to make the armor appear a little bit more pearly and shiny, but it's also going to change the tone of the gold. We're then going to dry brush over just the corners and edges of the model using Stormhost Silver. This is going to give a somewhat weathered appearance to our gold armor. With the armor done, we're going to begin working on the cape and the tassets, as well as the face plates of the model. And we're going to use Cantor Blue as the base color for this. Once that base coat has been applied, we're going to shade all of the blue using Drakenhof Nightshade. And you don't want to go too heavy on this because this is a very dark shade and it will turn your blue very dark if you go too heavy. Once the nightshade is dried, we're going to layer over all of the blue using McCrag Blue. Now, when you do the cape, focus on leaving all the recesses darker. When you get around to things like armor panels, focus on highlighting just the center of the armor panel. Now we're going to move on to all of the ornaments and trim on the model. We're going to use Stormhost Silver to paint these details. Now be careful not to get this silver on the gold armor panels. You just want to pick out the ornaments and details. Once you've picked out all of the silver details, we're going to take Seraphim Sepia and we're going to use this to shade all of those silver parts. This is going to return that silver to a somewhat gold tinted color. It's going to give it the appearance of being similar to white gold. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Mechanicum Standard Gray and we're going to pick out all of the tubes or pipes and all of the gaps between the armor panels on this model using this color. Once that gray is dry, the next thing we're going to do is take Null Oil and we're going to use this to shade all of the gray areas that we've just painted. Now we're going to take Wraith Bone and we're going to paint this on the eagle that's on each shoulder pad of our shield captain. With the white in place, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to wash this over all of the white areas we just painted. Now, if I were to go through and do this again, I would actually water down the Agrax a little bit because this went on just a little too heavy for my preferences. Once that shade is dried, we're going to go back through, we're going to use Pallid Witch Flesh and we're going to highlight each of the different feathers on the eagle. It's time to start working on the weapon of this model, and I'm going to use Lead Belcher to start painting the bolter and any of the spikes or any other parts of the weapon that I feel like need to be in this metal color. Once that Lead Belcher is dried, I'm going to take Null Oil and we're going to use this as our wash for all of the metal parts of the weapon. Our next step is to take Abaddon Black. We're going to paint this over the haft of his axe, as well as the casings on the bolter. We're also going to paint this on the ballistic grenade launcher that's on his left arm. Once 
Once our black is dried, we're going to take Dark Reaper. We're going to use this to edge highlight all the edges on the weapon. Now, this is a somewhat gray, blue, dark color, and it is going to pop a lot on this black. So make sure you're very controlled with how you edge highlight this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take corn red and we're going to paint all of the tassels as well as the plume or hair that's coming out of the top of the model's armor. We're also going to pick out the eyes using this color at this point. Once that red is dried, we're going to take Carabird Crimson. We're going to use this as a wash all over all the red areas that we've just painted. And it's okay to go nice and heavy with this, especially around the hair. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Mephiston Red, and we're going to use this as a edge highlight on all of the plumage, all of the tassels. We're also going to make sure to put a dot of this in the center of each of the eyes. Now we're going to start working on the head of the axe. And we're going to start with Sotek Green, and we're going to base coat the head of the axe using this color. Next, we're going to take Temple Guard Blue. We're going to use this as a very thick edge highlight on the head of the axe. We're also going to use this to dot each of the gems that's on the armor of the model. Now we're going to take Contrast Talazar Blue, and we're going to use this to shade over all of the axe head. We're also going to use this to draw a small C on the bottom of each of the gems on the model. The final step in this axe head is to take Ulthuan Grey. We're going to highlight the very edges of the axe. We're also going to draw very thin lines that form the shape of small lightning bolts on the axe head. We're also going to put a dot in each of the gems on the opposite side from where we drew the C before. Now we're going to bring back Stormhost Silver and we're going to pick out all of the details on the axe. We're also going to use this opportunity to clean up any spots where we messed up the details earlier on. We're going to start working on the more abstract details. So first we're going to take Elysian Green, and we're going to paint this on the wreath that has been sewn onto the back of his tabard. Once that's dry, we're going to take Bealtan Green, we're going to wash this over that green that we just painted. Now we're going to paint the grip on the axe, as well as the grip on the Misericordia that is hanging off the back of our shield captain. We're going to use Baraknar Burgundy for this. Once the burgundy is dried, we're going to take Cardboard Crimson. We're going to use it to shade all of the grips that we've just painted. Finally, we're going to use Screamer Pink and we're going to edge highlight each of the different rings of the grip on all of his weapons. And with that, we finished up our shield captain. Thank you so much for watching today, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and like it and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll see you in the next one.